Hi, this is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations. Before I actually started my channel properly, when I was still just putting in some impressions to share with arty friends that I knew, I shared this big Bertha in her underwear and I'm starting to fill her up. We've done a couple of pages together and I wanted to show you how it's going. And so I thought I'd just flick through the pages that I've done. I'll try not to do too much explanation. I'll just literally show them all. That's just a little journal card in a belly band. Probably more because I wanted to use, have an excuse to use that lace there. And I like putting little hidden things in behind these mini pages that I do. I thought it's nice to also have just a few simple stamped ones. This one was a little bit more complex. So I brought that out. And then this little bit in here over some old sewing paper. I love these ladies. I'm so glad I finally found a place for them. I love music pages too. But then I tend to do pages at different places. Nothing, this was just really simple. I just thought I'd go with that theme. This bit here was actually from an old vacuum cleaner packing and I've always wanted to use it somewhere so now I have <laughs> I love this journal card it was from a lovely piece that someone gave for free and then I cut it up even more and put it together just a simple collage page this was the prototype of the one that we did together the flippy flap journals. That was my first video and it was really, 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 really long. Um, so you can see the different little flippy flaps. I love flippy flaps in that one. I'm trying to speak softly because it's school holidays and I'm trying not to disturb the troops <laughs> while they're home. Because really, it's never quiet here. You'll probably find you'll get a bit of background noise while I'm doing some over the holidays when I get a chance and oh, see this is why it's good to go through oh no it hasn't stuck that was one of Pam at the paper outpost that was one of her digikit images she does great digikit images because they're easy to cut she tries to put them on a straight line for you I really like that I need that help this is just a tuck, that's what it's called. I knew I'd get there eventually. Um, I ran through the, call that stuff. Someone knows what it is. Oh, <laughs> it's embossing. This one, for those of you that are back, my camera just fell over. This is a little paper clip which I think is rather sweet. These were some gorgeous cards that I got while I was in Singapore so I really wanted to have that memory inside this book. It was on a day going around the arty places with two absolutely beautiful women who were friends of mine and one of them had grown up in Singapore so she gave us the real tour. It was just lovely. All right next this is one I just did recently. I did it as one of those uh, die cuts and I thought I'd pop a few little bits and bobs in there. So a couple of tea cards. I love old tea card. Printed out too small and I thought, that's all right, I'll just use it. That was from some scrapbooking paper, so I just made it up. And these were just some tickets that I crafted because I love tickets. And I really like this die cut, so I popped around some butterflies, put some lines on this page. It's funny how I'm explaining these because you can actually see them. Ah, although if your vision's going like mine, obviously a collage page, the uh, audio guide can be helpful. Okay, so this one, that's the flip out with a bookmark in it. And that's just the sewing on the scrapbooking page that I've put a picture over. But most of these pictures you see will be from Pam. Um, and this is nothing more than a collage page. I just wanted something that was really busy and to have a go 
and see how it came out. Lovely old envelope that I got from somebody. Again, that one flips out. Another journal card that I've done up at one point. One of my challenges that was with index cards that I liked to be a part of. And these were just a couple of pieces of note paper that I inked around to age them up a bit. And this is from, I like that just a bit skewy. The little pocket here is actually the envelope from my gorgeous friend at Melinda Stacy Designs who used to do these in the jewelry that she sent us. She'd do these beautiful handmade envelope. There's a little flip over here. It's always nice to have little secret things that you don't quite realize. So it's really, really tiny, tiny hint. There's something there. This is a really cute, well, if I say so myself, this is a really cute little book. You can see, I can hear my son dancing in the bathroom. There you go. <laughs> um, so if you hear any thumping, it's dancing in the background. I just put over some tea bag covers, you know, more die carts. I thought of just a plain black page to make everything pop a little bit. Alrighty, next. Another journal card that I love. I really like this size, so I think I'll do this size more. And they're perfect for my son's fruit roll-ups. I hate the things. He likes them. So I get quite a few of those, and it's just a perfect size to cut out of those boxes and cover. I quite like these um, word stamps as well. You'll notice quite a bit of stamping in this one. Hopefully you'll notice lots of things because it's so different. I can't remember what the names of these are. A waterfall notes or something. Anyway, that's those. Just a lovely page. That I think that really is my one of my favourite favourites. Okay, in here, I feel like this one's a bit of a mess, but maybe that's a good thing to have something that's really super busy. As if a lady of old went through and you know, played with it and kept adding to it and, you know, favourite button from one of her old shirts and, you know, music from her husband that he used to play. I can just imagine, you know, maybe he was a seagoer, so she just kept adding bits that made her remember him. There you go. That's my theory. Do you like it? These are those wee little butterflies that, you know, can't make the wings pop up, obviously, because they keep getting flattened every time I close the journal. Hello, Jen. Not the brightest sometimes. This is one that we did together. Again, just simple. But I love the colours in that. I do tend to like my blues and teals. Another one that we did together. There you go, we did do a few. Little notepad in there. And down. Just a page. And again... Just a simple stamped one. So I already had done the background sheet and then I just added these stamps over the top. Next one, that's the gallery. I think they're amazing. I just feel so cute. And oh, I need to do some more in the back. This is the one I did last night and oh, I just love it. So I've got a tutorial coming up on these soon. They are Pam at the Paper Outpost using her library cards to make up little journal cards. They've got little trinkets on the top and I wanted to add some lace and I finally got to use that cat. I love that picture. And then this, I've actually cut out a butterfly and I thought I'd use the background and I did all this sewing over it and, oh, you know, I just love it. It's Sometimes you just love it. This, you know, I'm never happy with this page, but I just love this botanical sheet and it does have little hidden tucks so i think that's cute and i thought i'd use a stamp on that teeny teeny weeny little note if i do the voice it makes it seem and in here i haven't ironed the hanky yet but i thought it'd be so nice to actually have a hanky in it why not someone might even use it but i've got this beautiful lace that i got from oh, i wish i could remember her name on etsy just love it and these, I really like stamping on tracing paper. That's one of my sheets that I'd already done. 
And this one is the second flippy flap that I did. So that's another paper clip. And then this is the flippy flap that we did together. There you go. And these. Okay. Sorry about the noise in the background, everybody. I'll almost finished though. Almost on my last page. And then you'll probably hear whatever it is that he's playing out there. He'll want it on repeat. Right, there we go. Sorry, just got interrupted by the family again. That's all right. I love them to bits. Oh, there you go. I accidentally took off the back too. My little card. Yeah, I do. I adore this family. But gee, they're noisy. Even my little fella who can't speak or doesn't use words, <laughs> it does not mean quiet. And then I had to have an owl in the book because... That makes me think of my mum who loved owls. That's the book. And I really like how doing the pamphlet fold means it really can sit quite nice and flat. And you can have it open at a page that you like. I think that's all pretty cool. Anyway, I just wanted to share and show you how she's doing. And I'm so excited to actually be finally doing something like this. It's really good. It makes you dive in to different things more. So it'll be very eclectic. There's no theme. I change my mind from moment to moment. So, you know, themes are very hard sometimes. I kind of start on a theme. I go, oh, I'll go blues. And then I think, oh, I quite like this pink. I'll do some pink. Oh, you know, I like sea theme. And oh, I like, um, I like flowers. Anyway, one day I'll do enough that I'll stop putting everything into the one and I'll have several that I'm working on and I'll do different ones. Although I do also work on lots of different ones at the same time already. Anyway, okay, eclectic and a, 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 mis, a mod podge of mismatch. I think that's me. So happy creating. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. I can't believe people are actually watching, but I'm so glad. I hope that you keep creating. And I'll see you next time. Bye.